So in this part, we'll talk about advanced bioinstancing while uh, introducing the virus bond source, the virus source instance, and already we are using the virus source back. So just to recap, <coughs> I have a torus. <coughs> sorry, I have a torus. <coughs> of a torus here, sorry, we added a virus source for it, so we have a density and temperature, some modification of the velocity, then we rasterize the density, temperature and velocity, and then we added the virus source back, and we call it torus smoke, that has the density, the temperature, the burn and the velocity, and as you can see, it's all backed and it has these three attributes, frame length, name, and the source rule. And this is how it looks. And we repeated the same step, but one for the box and one for the sphere. But the important thing here, we call it the name torus smoke, box smoke, and sphere smoke. Next, we, we need to create our library. So I will select all of them and merge them and call it library okay so I have it here let's click color it and now I will create this uh, grid and let's just visualize it so we have the grid let's make it a little bit bigger sort of 20 and now we need to create scatter so I have a scatter and the scatter I have here in the library one, two, three back nodes. So I need to create one, two, three. Scatter the fourth count. Let's make it four. And here, oops, sorry, let's make it fourth count of six, or let's say three. And here we'll make it two. Next. I will connect, let me take them a little bit down. I will connect the grid to each scatter node. And after that, we'll create a biro uh, spawn source. Here it is, biro spawn sources. So we will create uh, three biro spawn sources. One, two, three for each one. One here, and one here, and one goes in here. So these are the nodes, let me color them. Then I will connect each scatter node to the virus spawn source. And now I need to define the source name. And if you remember here, we have this source name, let's copy it and add it here. The second one, box smoke, copy it and add it here. And the third one, let's copy it and add it here. After that, I select the three of them and merge them all together. Now, next step, let me just put this one like this and take it aside. And now we need to create the Virosource instance, Virosource instance so we have this node let's color it also and the first input require spawn points and the second will require the back source set the library okay so i'll take the merge and add it to the first one the second one i will add it to the library and let's visualize now let's save and here we remove this one, we have a couple of points. Now we will add our viral solver. So here it is. We'll connect the first wire here. And if we play, nothing will happen because we need to go in the viral solver to the tab sourcing. Instead of the source type individual volume, we need to add packed set. So now I figure out what's, what, what was missing here. So if you remember in the previous uh, video, Pyro, we go to the source and we choose 
that's it okay but the solver doesn't know where is the set I need to reference the set this library so I copy it I go to the virus solver then the source I will choose the library so it's pointing to the library and immediately we can see something going on here let's play it now that's fantastic let me just decrease the resolution so it runs faster now if, if um, we want to change uh, the starting frame and some randomization we will create uh, the following it will be the attribute adjust float here it is attribute adjust and we will connect it in the viral spawn source we go below it before the merge so this is the first one and this is the second one and this is the third one so we have one two three let's go to the first one and uh, here we will play with the start frame so we will adjust the start frame so we have the start frame and now we change the pattern time we have constant random noise float attribute remap attribute color map line radial bounding box so we'll go with the random for now and in the random the range value of min max min max the length, uh, length specific value let's we'll go with the default let's choose say from 1 to 20 and uh, let's play a little bit with the seeds and here we will repeat the same so let me delete them that one here and I'll change the seed add another one here and let's change the seed and now if, if we play it see we'll see that uh, starting frame is different for each one so let's 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 say this one at 40 this one at 50 and this one 60 and see so they are uh, running a different starting frame and they vanish next let's play with the um, let's say the density so here um, Let's change the look of the density and it's one so we'll keep it one and go to the virus bond source and uh, we have here um, as you remember we add the torus smoke here we have roll override so we'll add one and here we have the target field property and multiplier so on target field we should have density temperature flame etc etc so let's choose density so I have the density and uh, property this use uh, acceleration let's go with the scale and uh, this is uh, the sphere so let's watch the sphere let's make it 20 and have a look oh this is the torus sorry so let's play with this one also here so roll over right let's play with the temperature and the temperature accelerate chain strength and let's make it 10 and have a look I'll just decrease this one let's say 5 and we'll create another one so let's play with the divergence and here we we'll direction is going to scale, scale and make it five and watch
maybe I will decrease the 60, which make it 30. And here we make it 20. Here we make it 25. So we can have more save. Here scatter, let's make it 10, 6, and 7. Let's watch now. So it's even more. Maybe I'll just make it all 5. Seeds. And here we we'll decrease it. Here let's add also density and we scale it. Let's play again. I would like to have more in the shape. Let's add disturbance and turbulence and some of the shredding and let's have a look we do a flip pop quickly and here in the bounding container resizing oh, let's increase it 5000 and I'll run it for a while. So here is how it goes. Okay, so to recap. Here. Let's add, oh sorry, shift O. And here we should have another one, shift O. So here we will uh, do the biro source back, biro source backing, where we created uh, our usual uh, way of creating the sourcing and then we add the biro back biro source back and we should be sure that we added a name and we repeat as much as we want our sources and we merge them all in the library so this is step of packing is finished here we will define the points like a grid or line or whatever and we have some scattering point and here in the biro spawn source we should name the source name in relation to the source uh, name in the back. Here we can add some overrides for the scale, temperature, density, anything that suits us. Here for instance, we don't have a flame, let's say temperature. Okay. Here attribute adjust float we can define what to play with, like the offset of the starting frame, ending frame, and the length, we can play with it and randomize it. We do all, we do all for the virus bond source, then we merge it all together. So when we merge, we have a total of 15 points. 15 points here, five, 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 because here we added five, let's make it 10. So we have 20, okay? After that, we need our pyro source instance that need the boids and need the library. Here we can have override in the density, scale, attribute, let's say, offset the length, and we can here adjust the strength of the length. It always add between 0.5 and 
three and after that so we have our virus horse instance as you can see maybe it will be visible like this so this is how to be instanced and after that in the virus solver we need to make sure in the sourcing that we are sourcing the back set not individual volume like before and we need to point a library source to our library here and then I believe we run our simulation the crazy one Thank you for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe, share and comment and join my membership and see you in another tutorial. Thank you.